you know, I want to make a video, and I'm sorry, I look like crap, I've been crying. Um, it, it, I could put faith in people because everybody either died or left me. And I, what's funny is I had talked to us night about my priests, and I speak quite soon. Truth is, I mean, our relationship's falling apart. Um, the relationship of my mom, which is my only family. So, and where I live right now, there, there is no friends. It's just our guys. I don't know what to do. It's like I'm stuck. I'm broke. I'm with my dollar stuck. I can't even get out and do anything. Everybody's like, live day by day. Well, if I'm going crazy today, then <laughs> that's the way it's going to be, right? I'm just tired, like, from what I make and what other people make. And me being broke. And then them look at me and have a nerve to say they're broke. They don't fucking know broke. Walk in my shoes. You're fucking no broke at that point. I just. I'm realizing that I have nobody. And it's hard. And I'm facing a lot of health issues. And. I don't know. There's a lot on my mind. I'm an avid <laughs> weed smoker. I, I don't have weed. So it's maybe part of the problem. But I hate enough, <laughs> I hate enough Xanax that it should do the job, but even my tolerance is so high with that, don't even matter. <sighs> I don't know. What do you do? Like, I've always been, like, a loner. I always have been. <laughs> But I've always had usually a boyfriend, like that one close friend. At the moment, I don't have a close friend, a boyfriend, a priest, a mom. I don't have anybody. I don't know if it's fear or hurt and anger. But. Wow. I figured, you know, I'll let you guys see the real side of me on this one. I cannot believe that my priest has turned his back on me. I asked him how, how I would get out of the faith because I'm so seriously considering it. <laughs> if I wanted this, I would have never left the Catholic Church. I just don't get it. Push this down so you can see me a little better. Well, that's a boob shot, but you can see my boobs in me. <laughs> I just don't get it. And it's like, not like I was asking for a million dollars. I like literally needed to borrow a hundred bucks. I'm going like manically crazy, which is something about me. I do go manic, and I have a lot of anxiety, and I do use weed for it. I wish, I think I'm going to have to end up moving to a state where there is medicinal marijuana. Because I need it. I need it back. I just want to take it all, but I can't. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I got on here for a rant. Don't have much to say because as much as I want to keep it real, I still want to keep you know, certain people's names out of everything. 
Is that after when you broke my heart? I can't. I haven't trusted anybody since. I haven't wanted to be with anybody since. And then I finally, you know, have or show my priest unconditional love and he turns his back on me. Okay. That just proved that there's, I shouldn't, period. My mom, my mom is a complete bitch to me. She's nice one day a week, probably, maybe. She's always bitching about something, yelling about something, complaining about something, making promises and breaking them. <laughs> what do you do? Unfortunately, because of William, I do have bad credit now. I can't even use credit. Um, this is a real or I guess more emotional side of me. I get depressed and manic sometimes and I guess this would be one of them. But my priest it's not the same but it never will be again. And When I decided to become orthodox, he was my priest. I won't go to another one, so I'll leave with faith first. If anything he does, he throws right back in my face. Like, that, thanks. Thanks a lot. I, I, I asked for $10 this morning, and, like, or like online or something, whatever. And I wanted to borrow it. Ten bucks. Well, I don't know if I have it. I'm broke. Okay. Between him and his wife, he's broke. And then he's always said that I was family. And he told me, he said, well, I have to take care of me and my family. Just made it real to me that I'm not anything to him. Nothing more than a parishioner of this church. <laughs> These nails are so good and fabulously boozy. <laughs> but, um, I guess I just wanted to be real. Still juicy. <laughs> Getting it down today. This morning, as soon as I got up, I started juicing because I needed. The one that I had for lunch that I showed in the last video, I had to run it through the juicer. I forgot to put a cup behind it, and I did juice it, but it all ran on the counter and stuff. That was first thing this morning. So, I don't know. it's just been one thing after another, after another, after another. And th this is generally how my days are. That's why I prefer to sleep or hang out by myself during the day and do whatever I need to do at night. That's exactly why. But, I mean, I don't need money two weeks from now. I need money now. And I pay my debts, unlike other people. If people would pay the debts that they owe me right now, and I, I'd have $150, which doesn't still still doesn't seem like a lot, but it would help. And being stuck in this hollow does not help me at all. Sometimes it's nice to be in the country. Other times, I just I can't stand being this far out. But, <sighs> we had these Xanax to kick in. So I can smoke some resin. Thank you guys for, I guess, listening. I guess this is somewhat therapeutic, uh, therapeutic you know, maybe just getting it out there. I was gonna put some stuff on eBay. I needed help. I need somebody to hold it up. I took pictures. I asked my mom. She got bitchy about it, of course. So I said, fuck it. 
That could have been some extra money. If the cigarette is not about going out. Um, I want to do Etsy because <clears throat> everything in my room I made. If you look like, behind me, that shelf with my scarves on it I made. Everything on my vanity I made. Um, the chair cover. Uh, there, there's a table behind you. And hold on. I made everything. And if I could get on Etsy, like, I could sell it. If I can get on eBay, my stuff's name brand, and I could sell it. Like, it's a lot of Victoria's Secret and stuff like that. I could sell it. There would be coach bags, a Gucci bag, just stuff I know would sell. But. Nobody cares. And. I have the deep down feeling that nobody cares. It's a, it's a horrible feeling. I figured if I'm pretty, I'd be married. And I'm single living in a parlor. That would nothing. I guess I'm sitting here waiting to die. I don't, I don't know. But, I don't know. Sorry I made this video so long. <laughs> I was all crying, but I know I'm lonely. I need things. I can't get them. And I'm sick, and it's something like I'm not ready to discuss yet. But on a positive note, and then this. Now I know. Bye, dolls.